Hey YouTube fam and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another DIY video and I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful centerpieces basically by updating a previous DIY that I made. It was a globe centerpiece DIY. I will link that video in the description and all I did was just update it and create a beautiful centerpiece that could be used for like a wedding table or a tablescape by turning it into a floral stand. So if you wanna see how I made that, go ahead and keep on watching. So like I said, I'm starting off with these two globe centerpieces that I made previously. And what I'm going to do first is to remove the diamond wrap that I have on one of them. And I just hot glued it so it should be really easy to remove. Um, by just peeling it off and I'm going to be adding the beads to make it match the other piece. I will be leaving the diamond wrap at the bottom. So like I said, I just hot glued it so peeling it should be fairly simple. And I didn't put a lot because I like to change up my pieces and update, it, update them and um, use them for other purposes. So I never put anything too permanent unless I absolutely know I'm not gonna use it for anything else. So once I removed it, you can see that the paint did chip a little bit because they were spray painted. So I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit later. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue on those beads that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're the gold beads. And this time I'm using the Gorilla Hot Glue, but I'm still only using a very, very small amount. This glue is extremely strong, but I think it'll be okay should I decide to remove these beads later on for something else. Now, what I really wanted to do was create this um, centerpiece that I saw on Totally Dazzled um, YouTube channel. And I was so in love with that piece, I wanted to make my own, and it was a globe base centerpiece that had brooches all over it. However, it is not the most budget-friendly piece to make, and in order to have the entire thing covered, I would need a lot of brooches. And I was sent these pieces for free, however, I wanted to stretch them out as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is just create a version of it where it's a little bit more budget-friendly by scattering the pieces around. And I think it will work well because I actually have an insert inside of the globe vase. And for my floral um, top, I'm using this set of florals that I got from Amazon and it came like this. It came really beautifully arranged and I'm going to be putting them in this little Dollar Tree vase that I found. And honestly, you don't even have to trim the stems and rearrange it. You can actually just stick it in there just like that. So when you put it at the very top, you can see that it's going to give it a lot of height. I wanted something really grand and really tall for my table. And the entire length, or I guess height of this, is going to be um, almost 3 feet tall. When I measured it, it measured at around 34 inches tall. So I thought that was pretty good for what I was looking for. I also had the idea to use this vase. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's um, used for like making terrariums. And I really like the shape of it. It is made of plastic, but it didn't give me the height I was looking for. But it could easily be used for that as well if you wanted to go for a different look. So on this vase, the other thing that I like was that I had a brooch that actually matched um, the shape of the design that was already on the vase. So I thought it would look really nice and go really well all together. So I decided to use that vase instead of the other one. Another idea would be to use some bling wrap um, of your color. Like if your piece was silver, obviously you would use silver. And you can kind of fill it in with the bling wrap and use the brooches around it to make it a lot more budget friendly. Now I've already removed the back of the brooches and I'm gonna be hot gluing those on. One thing I do wanna mention that once you remove the fasteners, off of the back in order for it to be as flush as possible you want to make sure that you take into account the area where the fastener on the back was when you're adding your glue so you want to add it just so it kind of becomes more balanced and it doesn't like um, rattle over the vase because it's a globe vase not a flat surface so I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing these I'm gonna try as much as possible 
to match the two pieces together. So whatever that I do to one piece, I'm going to be doing to the other. So I'm gonna glue this piece right there, which I absolutely love. It's, one, it's part of a variety pack, actually, that they have available on their website. And I'm gonna glue this one on, and I'm gonna glue one on the other one. So that way I keep it as um, close to the design as possible for them to match, but not exactly match. I, prefer, I would have preferred to have a lot of these particular brooches and done the entire thing with this one, but I don't have enough. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit more creative with the pieces that I have and just create a design that will be suiting my needs. So like I said, whatever I do to the front, I'm gonna do to the back and whatever I do to one, I'm gonna do to the other. Once I've actually gone ahead and done that, and added several pieces just to make them match together. I'm gonna fill in the gaps with some pearl pieces and the pearl pieces I'm using I actually got from Hobby Lobby recently and I hauled them together. So ultimately, once I had all the brooches everywhere, this is what I ended up with. I do have some more brooches so I may end up adding more to fill in more of the gaps, but I thought it worked well because I had the insert of the roses in there and then I added the these beads right there, they're like pearl beads that I got for $1.99. I got about 50 pieces of those from Hobby Lobby. So this is what the other one looks like without the pearls. And like I said, you can see there's space there that we can add more brooches. It's all gonna depend on your budget. So I wanted to just show you an idea of how you can still make something similar that's a little bit more budget friendly, but preferably I would've wanna cover the entire thing with brooches. And this is what the two pieces look like next to each other, the one with the pearl and the one without. And ultimately, this is what I ended up with. These are gonna go on my Mother's Day tablescape. This is what it looks like right now, but when I do the tablescape video, they may look a little bit more different as I may end up adding more brooches and filling it in even more because that's the look I really do like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas and how to more ideas, I guess, on how to use these brooches. And I hope you were inspired if you have a wedding or an event coming up of how you could create something for your table. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, follow me on my social media if you don't already do. And I will see you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye bye.